Welcome back to Samsta Games, the place to find new strategy games. And today we're gonna play Blocks, Hammer of the Scots. Now, if the name seems familiar to you, that's because we already played games like Blocks Richard III and Blocks Julius Caesar. We still couldn't get Cleopatra. <laughs> so this is a very similar game. The gameplay is very similar, but there are some slight differences and I'll walk you through them as we play. We're gonna be starting a new game. We're gonna be playing The Bruce. The Bruce scenario is all about the conquest of the Scottish throne by Robert Bruce, the bandit king, between 1306 and 1314, as the English players seek to keep control of Scotland by maintaining all the important noble lords under your yoke. The Scottish player also seeks the allegiance of nobles to support Robert's claim to the throne. After John Comyn's negotiation surrender to Edward I long checks in February 1304 and an easy peace returned to Scotland. Robert Bruce had not supported Comyn's rebellion and resented Edward's betrayal of his promise to deliver him to the Scottish throne. Bruce conspired with sympathetic nobles and the leadership of the Scottish Church to seize the throne and inspire his countrymen to revolt. Task made easy when news spread of the palace's brutal execution in August 1305. Bruce and John Comyn met alone in a Dumfries church and engaged in a violent argument over the wisdom of Bruce's plans and ended with Bruce's knife in Comyn's heart. With the absolution of the Scottish clergy, Bruce was crowned at Scone on March 10th, 1306, the 10th anniversary of the outbreak of the rebellion. Faced with civil war against common loyalists and imminent attack from England, Bruce desperately assembled an armor and prepared for the worst. So we're playing as the Scotland in the Bruce. All right, so. The way this works is that there are nine campaigns total and at the end of the last campaign we calculate our scores. So you can see that we start off with eight scores for Scotland and five for England. This represents nobles, there are currently 13 nobles and each noble is either with me, Scotland or with England. Now, the way to make them switch is essentially if you kill a noble or defeat a noble that's currently with England, they're going to be like, you know what, maybe I just changed my mind, I'm just gonna join you. You know, I think Scotland is great, you know? And uh, the same if they defeat our noble, they're just gonna join England. There is another way you can win a Scotland if you kill Edward first, then Edward second will become the king, and then if you kill Edward second, you won. Just dead. But um, they can also hide their Edwards, like cowards, and in that case we can really beat them up, but that's okay. Now, we have gotten these cards, we're gonna play them all, but you can choose the order in which we play them. So these regular cards, they are movement, and they will allow us to move our units from one place to another. And this is a special card which allows us to move one or two blocks from one coast area to one other friendly, not vacant coast area, including England. This, the Norse cannot use this card. Oof, I actually really don't care about that, but it has to be a friendly coast. Yeah, I do not care less about that. Let's start with movement two. And they go with movement two. If it's a tie, the English always wins, so they go first, and they can move their blocks. Now, in the previous games, you could uh, on your turn you could move and also gain reinforcements. In this game, you do reinforcements only at the end of a campaign, so you can actually do it quite yet. All right. So now we've got two moves. The way you move is that you grab the entire group and you can move them somewhere. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a combat here. Now, actually, we're gonna do combat anyway because we've got one nobleman here, and they put two whatever they have to fight him. Now if we were to add more units we could fight but they will not be there immediately. It will take us one turn to sort of join them up. So we're gonna do that but we're probably not gonna be super strong and then we're going to grab this group and move them down to fight this thing over here. These guys. We have used up our movement points and now we're gonna jump into battle. All right. So let me walk you through how the battle works as soon as we begin. So on up on this top here, you can see your strength. So the current strength is this. The yellow is the active strength. The red is if they hit us, so it's like HP. So you can see that this now has three active strength. It used to have four, but now it just has three. Now that determines how many dice it's gonna roll. So it's gonna roll three dice. This number two determines what's considered a hit. So anything that's two or less will be considered a hit. And if we hit the enemy, we're going to sort of redden one of their strength and take it away. So they're gonna roll this less dice. 
the latter here determines initiative so because they uh, had b as well they started then now we go and then this goes and if and so we can now either choose to fire retreat or pass pass does nothing retreat means that we run away and fire is that it means that we hit them there are maximum of three rounds if by the end of the third round one side wasn't defeated or ran away then the attackers will retreat and it's going to be the end of combat now these guys are noblemen so if we manage to defeat them we'll gain an additional point we also these guys are also noblemen so if they defeat this unit they will gain a point if they defeat this unit they will not this is just regular infantry this is not interesting so we're gonna fire see what we roll we rolled a two that's a hit so we're gonna lower their strength now this is really important because now even if we don't hit them here they will only roll with one die so that's really good for us we didn't actually manage to do that's unfortunate because they'll probably retreat because they don't want to lose their novel yeah because they, they like to run away the ai likes to run away a lot but we now know that this thing is a noble so we know that we definitely want to follow them in the following turns and try to destroy this because that's going to give us points all right let's just jump to here now we have one unit here and then sorry one one unit here fighting and then these two are going to jump in to join us on those reinforcements very soon now this is just infantry so we don't really hurry against destroying them but we'll still try because this is not going to give us any additional point this is not an important unit all right uh, it's already run they're running told you they like to run it's just just what they do all right, but we know that this uh, block is not important as these two. Now we're gonna need to regroup, or actually we, we don't have to. We're not gonna. We're gonna stay in place. All right, one more battle. Nice. We, all of these are actually going to hit because we've got a plus one bonus. So sometimes if you have a nobleman that's actually in a city that's kind of corresponding with their uh, shield, then they get that extra bonus. So it can be a good idea to try to move them into a corresponding city because they'll be, be able to do more damage. But it's not always necessary. Generally, I just like to have my things in groups so that I can make sure that I can understand. Was this a nobleman? No, this is just infantry. So this is not going to give us any points, even though we t we defeated them. Not going to be anyway interesting. Right, is this a nobleman? No, still infantry. However, mine is a nobleman, so we might want to... Actually, we're not going to run away. I was just going to say, we might want to consider running away on the next round. But um, if, if you watch me play these other Let's Plays of blocks, you know that I like to be very aggressive and essentially never run away. Like the way I fight is like everybody's fighting to the death. And the enemy's never like that. The enemy's always like, are you dying? The enemy's always like, are you dying? Run, run for your life. And we're like, are you dying? Well, then take them with you. <laughs> That's just how we roll. <laughs> we're all in on this. <laughs> just like no stress. I'm sure the Edwards are hiding somewhere here in the reserves like cowards. All right, we can move around. We know that one of these is a nobleman. So I'm going to grab my big fancy attacking group and just go and straight up hit them. We have one more move left. No, we don't. Yeah, we're, we're done. We're done. Okay. This that was a no. No, it ran away. Ah, uh, it ran away. I was just about to grab him out of my reach. And he saw us, he was just like, I am running! <laughs> well, yeah. Yes, he ran. We keep destroying their infantry, which is nice. But it's not as good now. Sometimes you want to utilize this regroup option that you might want to take something like this infantry. And you might want to move it elsewhere because it can be useful to kind of spread around if you want and doesn't cost you additional movement. We got this silly C move that I really don't like, but we gotta do something with it. No, let's just do one movement. We're gonna keep. We're gonna keep going at that at that nobleman over here, unless he moves him away. Oof. Okay, so this is not great. I think that's a nobleman of mine. We're gonna have to run. I guess we'll we'll be the one running this time around. You are. What are you? No woman. Yeah. We could alternatively we could if we don't want to run. We could also try to move there with our other units. No, let's go first here, destroy that. And that's it. yeah, we're just gonna we'll see how this goes. We gotta do this fight first. Okay. Let's uh fire. 
Wow, we got three hits there. That is, is it a nobleman? No, no noblemans there. They're really good at hiding them. Uh, we're gonna stay in position. I'm worried about this. Oh, this is Edward though, but we are not. Edward has B4, we cannot stand a chance. We're gonna run. I know I said we don't run, but like this time we're gonna be like. We're taking a page from your book, England, and we're gonna run like cowards that we are not, but you are. <laughs> Apparently, we also insult them when we run away, because we're not used to running away, okay? We don't know how to run away, so we're just very insulting. The whole process, uh, I'm gonna grab that nobleman and just uh, run with him, because he's uh, near, near um, C, so he's just gonna move to. Uh, I want you. Move one or two blocks from one coastal area to another. I could either... I, I'm gonna move him up there. Just like run. Oh, I could do... I could do that one more time. I guess we'll move like this. We know that he has Edward there, but Edward has a B4. Okay, and he's, he's just putting reinforcement there. Okay, we're just gonna forget about Edward. For a moment, we thought he would be... Ex it would be exciting to go kill him. But then we realize, you know what? He's the king and he's probably very well protected and we are not crazy. So we're just gonna leave it. We're a little sad about it, sure. Ooh, we can move double this way. Huh. Hmm. Let's grab these big boys. Go kill this thing. And these big boys and go kill this then. And we're not we're not, not even gonna think about him now. No. We're gonna go fight here in Argyll. No 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 no. We're not silly. We are strategists. Yes, I do wanna do it, but we're not gonna do it. <laughs> you can just imagine the advisors talking to the leader being like, no, no, don't do it. That's a terrible idea. Just stop, stop. <laughs> And the leader would be like, oh, I was gonna kill him and he didn't let me. Uh, is it an nobleman? Yes! Whoo, we're gonna get some points! Ha ha, got you. Got you, Angus nobleman. See, he's now on my, uh, he's gonna be on my side now. Ha. Are we gonna stand in position there? Alright, are we gonna do the big fight here? Is it an... Running? Keep running! I can't even laugh at them this time because I ran too. Like a coward, so. So just gonna pass this one. I'm gonna say a word. It's gonna be fine. Ooh, they got a plus one bonus, but they didn't hit us, so we've got some chances. Am I a nobleman too? Our odds are significantly worse than theirs, but because we are brave Scott men, we're just gonna fight. Because they, they hit a three, we only hit a. Yeah. Mm, they're dead. They're dead. Sorry. So we're just exchanging some noblemen. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Could have run away, but um, you needed to show people that we're not like them. That we are better than them. <laughs> oh. All right. So this is the end of the first campaign. That's super important because that means that we can now add new units. Uh, and new recruits. So, you have a. Uh, oh, wait. King Winterine blocked the spending according to castle limits. So, each area has a limit of how many units can be there, and we gotta make sure that we're not over that limit. And every time we disband a unit, we're gonna gain uh, points, and we can then use in recruitment phase to gain new units. So, I have to disband. Anyways. Oh my, we got 17. All right, so because we disbanded, we now gain new uh, points that we could put to our units. So we could, uh, we could first of all, a couple things we can do. We can leave our units, can increase the strength on them. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab all of our noblemen and do that there. Put them to a highest uh, level. Oh, we can't do that anymore. Okay. And then we're also going to add some new units. Now, unfortunately, you can't see what units you're placing where, so you just have to kind of place it somewhere and hope for the best. Ooh, could I, could I, could I Levi? 
Yes. Again. Not again. Okay. Never mind. Um, how about you? I'm gonna leave on you. Not anymore. Okay, we still got eight points though. I cannot leave on you either. Yeah, and we can do nothing there. And then finally, how about up here? Really? And we're gonna place one more set here. And finally, you can't actually place anything here in this last spot. Uh, we just don't have the right amount of points, so we're just gonna click down. And all right, so we've got nine points, we've got some noblemen, and we're gonna get some new cards, and we can move around. So let's do let's do a two move. We're gonna do some combat here. Oh, they go first. Okay, okay, okay. I'd like to heal up some of those noblemen that I've got. Like the, the weaker ones, like this one. Oh, we're gonna have a big combat here. I'd like to fight this thing over there, this Tevia thing. Let's grab these two and go. And then we'll have this group. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll have this group. Go and fight them. Oh, we can move there? It's too many. Too many units to move. How about this, though? B2 plus 1 and A3. These are really, really strong because they both have essentially... Oh, this one doesn't because this one moved away from his home. But it's still a pretty good shot. I think let's do it. Let's, let's do the combo. Are any of you noblemen? Knights. Yeah, and they've got B3. Oh, and we didn't get a single hit. That's bad. Means we're really probably gonna die here. Ooh, they only got one hit, so that's not too terrible. But that that is that is bad. Ooh, okay, they only got two hits, but we're gonna have to run, I think. This is an infantry. Just gonna stick with the infantry. Oh yeah, we gotta retreat with these guys. Infantry is dead. But yeah, at least we hurt them a little bit. Yeah, B3 twice and pretty strong, so we're gonna have to watch out for that. You run away. And more combat. Here. All right, they've got two sets of noblemen. Oh, and we've got a king of Scotland. All right. <laughs> Told you, oh, seriously, one hit? Come on, what is the king doing? He's still thinking about Edward and how he wasn't able to kill him. <laughs> Stop thinking about Edward and start fighting or you're gonna die here. <laughs> they kill my king, we're not gonna be able to do much. <laughs> Get your head in the game, king. Really? Nothing? This nobleman is also like... Oh, okay, okay, okay. The king definitely got his head in the game. Okay, I heard you. No Edward, but I'm gonna destroy these guys. Except when they run away. <laughs> oh, okay. Look, we tried, okay? It's not our fault they keep running. Stop. Oof, ouch. Oh, Lancaster, they're so strong. Come on, French. Yeah. How about Campbell? Can he do something? Really? Oh, they're gonna kill us. They're gonna, they're gonna roll four and then think below three is a hit. They're gonna kill us now. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Whew, well run. That is a very strong unit, unfortunately. I mean, we had a pretty good odds. We just, we just got messed, on, or messed up a little. It's alright, we'll send somebody else there. Or not. Okay. Because these were also strong, so... That combination? Not the best for us. But we get to go first at least. 
the three of these. If I send you there, and then I send you there, because this guy is gonna get plus one because this is his his home, and we'll try it, maybe. It's a risky decision, but yeah, he's gonna come as reserves, unfortunately later. Oh no, seriously, why did he get so many hits? Is this at least an infantry? No, these are noblemen. No, this is infantry, infantry, so only this thing is a nobleman. Ow. Yeah, we're dead. They just kill our entire set. <laughs> oh, that is not great. Now, infantry cannot go, so we're, we're just dead. Oh, our number do double noblemen are gone, too. Yes, and it looked so good, it was, it was rough, yeah. You got really unlucky here. Well, it was worth a shot, I think. Got so many units there. Yeah. Because they got all those noblemen from me. Kind of unfortunate. So let's do one more turn, and then I'll think we'll end the episode. Hopefully on a victory and not on such a... Oh... Hey, hey, hey. Definitely not on a victory. <laughs> we could go help them, but I think instead we'll just try to kind of hone in on this lonely guy there and fight. Good uh, knights. Thinking about just running away. There's a lot of them. Yeah, let's just run. This is infantry, so we don't need to worry about that. And we're gonna have to kind of, at the end of this campaign, we gotta kind of regroup our noblemen, make sure that they're strong again, and then worry about other things, because this was rough. Uh, yeah, that was fine. I, I don't care about the infantry anyways. Uh, yeah, let's retreat in this way. And then we'll do the other combat up here. It should We should be able to win. They've got a nobleman, yeah. So they try to move the nobleman away so we wouldn't kill it. But we know their tricks. And our king is up and ready to fight. No! Keep running away! <laughs> our king is trying so hard. <laughs> He's the good at getting nothing. Alright, well, I think this is a good time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments. And you can click on the right to watch Blocks Julius Caesar or Blocks Richard 3. I'll see you there. Bye-bye!